The Arduino Uno is an incredibly popular development board that so many people will probably have used and still own. It might even have been some people's first ever development board. Arduino even created this limited edition version of the Arduino Uno to celebrate 10 million uh, units being sold. That being said, I imagine most people will have stepped on from this board to something that offers some more features, like Wi-Fi. But if you still have an Uno lying around somewhere, then there may be a way to give it a bit of a boost. What would happen if you could take the 80 mega chip from the Uno and the Wi-Fi capabilities of an ESP8266 and give them a mix together and produce some sort of strange hybrid device? Okay, so this is the Jolly module, which is a drop-in replacement for the Arduino Uno, which adds onboard Wi-Fi functionality. In this video, we're going to review the Jolly module and use it in an IoT-centric project where we collect temperature uh, sensor readings and then send the data over Wi-Fi to a Raspberry Pi server where it's stored and displayed. But before we continue, I would like to thank this video's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer who can produce and assemble almost any PCB that you can think of, including standard multi-layer PCBs, flexible PCBs, and even more. Their fast turnaround times mean they're a great choice for prototyping your projects. They offer surface mount and through-hole assembly options, and PCBWay also offer CNC services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, and injection molding. So they really have every service that you need for your next project. New members get a £5 voucher when you sign up, which can cover the cost of 10 two-layer PCBs. Check out PCBWay by using the link in the video description. Let's do a bit of the who and why. The Jolly module is made by a co-founder of Arduino, who worked there between 2005 and 2015. Apparently, he designed this board to, I quote, expand the functionality offered by the Arduino Uno, to transform it into a modern IoT device without altering its features or the user experience. I'm not really sure how you upgrade something, without altering its features or user experience, but I do really like the idea of changing the core module of the Arduino Uno. In terms of pricing, the Jolly module is available for 15 euros, which is roughly 15 US dollars or 13 pounds. We purchased this board and postage to the UK was quite steep at around eight pounds. There are bundles of these available, but there isn't really any volume pricing. You can have three for 15 euros each, and 10 for a grand total of two euros off. I don't imagine anyone would be outfitting a fleet of Unos though. Let's go over the specs of this module. There are two main chips, an 80 mega 328 PB and an ESP8285. The 80 mega 328 PB is the SMT version or surface mount version of the DIP package that the Arduino Uno ships with. There is no spec bump here. This chip has 32 kilobytes of flash memory for your programs. A little bit of that is used up by the bootloader. You get two kilobytes of SRAM and one kilobyte of EEPROM memory. All in all, this isn't really a very powerful chip and it is still the primary microcontroller on the module. The ESP8285 on the other hand is a bit more powerful, but is only reserved for providing Wi-Fi connectivity. It's hidden away under this nice looking custom EMI shield this is a nice touch and gives the module a nice like, quality look. And there is a compact onboard chip antenna, which actually allows uh, connectivity. In the development photos, you can see how the chip is laid out without the EMI shield. I'm not really going to pull mine off. The ESP8285 is functionally equivalent to the much more common ESP8266, but it has internal flash memory, so there is no need for an external flash chip and that does help save some space on this board. There's an LED connected to the ESP chip, it's orange, and it usually acts as a Wi-Fi activity indicator. There is a button here, which is a boot button to launch the ESP into programming mode. The AppMega and ESP chips communicate over both UART and SPI interfaces. UART communication is reserved for programming the firmware on the ESP chip, and the SPI interface is what you would use for sending commands and data to and from this Wi-Fi chip. In terms of pinout, the Jolly module obviously shares the same pinout as the 80 mega 328P DIP package, 
and that's to allow it to be a drop-in replacement to this board. There is no orientation indicator on the board, um, unlike the keyed part of the dip package, but essentially the correct orientation is where the overhang is directed towards the bottom of the board. I know it's a bit OCD, but I don't like the way that the Arduino logo on the Uno and the writing on the Jolly module don't face the same way. Although this is the same uh, orientation as the original dip package. It should go without saying, but you can't use this module on the surface mount versions of the Arduino Uno. The pins come pre-soldered on the module, which is good, as they would be a bit fiddly to solder. However, there are castellated pins on the module, and all the components are on a single side, which indicates to me that this module can be used as a standalone uh, module on a custom PCB, for example. In fact, even their own product page says this. But the problem is, when I purchased mine, there was no option to get the board without pre-soldered pins. And to use it as a standalone module, you would have to desolder these pins or cut them off. I think that's a, that's a weird choice. Maybe some sort of option on the purchase page would be helpful. In terms of programming this board, it is really easy with the Arduino IDE. All you need to do is add the board URL um, of the Jolly module and the ESP32 libraries into the Arduino Additional Boards Manager. This should install them. Uh, all these links are available on the Jolly module GitHub page, which I will link down below. And once installed, you can search for Jolly AVR in the Boards Manager and install the board. Once you've selected the board, you are ready to program with the Jolly module slash Uno combination. And there are even some examples to get started with if you want to have a look at them. Now, moving on to projects that I think would benefit from using the Jolly module, I think that there are two types of overall project that could be upgraded with this. You could add Wi-Fi to a non-Wi-Fi enabled project. Say for example, a data logger that was saving data to an SD card could now send that data in real time over Wi-Fi. And another project you could use it is uh, you could ditch an external Wi-Fi chip for something a bit more compact. It's like this Jolly module. I've been playing around with the Jolly module for about three weeks now, and my favorite project so far is an IoT sensor node, which uses a BME 680 sensor connected over I2C to collect temperature, pressure, humidity, and air quality data every two seconds. This data is then wrapped up into a JSON message sent over Wi-Fi uh, using the um, MQTT protocol to a Raspberry Pi server that we created in our previous video, and I'll link that in the cards above. And here we can see all our data on a Grafana dashboard. This was actually quite straightforward to set up and get working, and I'll put the source code of the project on our website linked below. A quick summary of how this works. During setup, the BME sensor is configured, and then the Jolly module connects to my Wi-Fi router. It then connects to the MQTT server hosted on the Raspberry Pi. In the main loop of the program, the data is read from the sensor, wrapped into a JSON message using the Arduino JSON library, and then this data is sent over our Wi-Fi network to the Raspberry Pi, where it is stored in an InfluxDB database, and then Grafana queries that database and plots all our data. I had a good time using the Jolly module, but there is nothing I've done here that couldn't be done with a separate ESP Wi-Fi module, and that would be done at a fraction of the cost. Also, even though this is a relatively simple program, I still ran into memory problems with the 80 mega chip, and it really highlighted how weak this microcontroller actually is. All in all, I like this module. It is creative and simple and well executed. However, I feel like it's expensive for what you get as you can get an external Wi-Fi module um, for fractions of the price. I know, you know, maybe if you go to AliExpress and get one for under a pound, it might take, you know, two months to get here, but this is the sort of price difference we're talking about. I guess it's up to you to think about how much you value everything being all on one package. I can say though that now that I've put this, the Jolly module into my Arduino Uno, I probably won't be taking it out. So that's all for today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing for more reviews and tutorials uh, about embedded systems. Let us know in the comments what you think of this board as I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching and as always, have a nice day.